So hello and welcome to part two. Um, so in this video, we're going to tackle some repairs using the plastic slurry created in the last video. So the first uh, thing to see is inside here, and then I'll take the, the front panel off so we can have a look at the state of the inside of that as well. So if we look in, inside here um, on the floor, let's try to focus that in a bit more. You can see our driveway there through the hole so that's the thing that needs repairing. My brother-in-law suggested that I needed to strengthen the plastic slurry with uh, probably a, a thin piece of metal of some sort. So I was thinking probably a paper clip because it seems it's a very small repair. So the idea is to try to key in the, the plastic and get it clean. So I'm just gonna rough it up a bit with the small piece of sandpaper here. Realise it's a bit more of a crack than I thought it was. I think that'll do. Right. Right, I'll just give it a quick clean with some disinfectant lingette lazy way of doing things and I'll bring you in for a closer look and see you can see how I don't know why I'm wearing my mask but looks I can't see what I'm doing so I'll bring you in for a closer look so you can see what um, we've got I'm struggling to see because my, my glasses are all steamed up so you've got a nice big hole here and it's cracked all the way along here so I've got to find a way of, and in fact it's quite a big hole, so I can put my finger in there and push the plastic. So it seems to be solid here, and then there's about probably a centimetre and a half of hole. So I'm going to see what I can do to, to strengthen the, the putty before I put it in. I'm not sure I'm going to do this because it's not very sticky, it's actually quite rubbery. So there's a paper clip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to to see what I can do to fix that in place. And obviously I can't really film it very easily because it's very restrictive in here. So you can see I've managed to work it into the corner and make it fairly flat with a paper clip underneath where the hole is. So we'll see what happens. I'll just leave it to dry and, and see if it fixes or not. If it doesn't, I'll have to think of something else. So the first thing to do is going to be uh, popping the, the bonnet. And I need to undo these two bolts here. Um, probably a little bit far away from the camera, but uh, I think you've seen them before either side of the, the bonnet lock so I need to find the right allen key uh, to undo that. In fact it's not that tight actually so I'll just plonk that down somewhere. I've got a nice big collection of allen keys mostly the same size some of them from Ikea and various other things that we've had to build furniture and stuff You'll see it's not too. I don't even, even need the Allen key on that one. It's not too difficult to remove when you just got two bolts. I'll take the other one off as well. There we go. And there you go. That, a bit of tape on that. And you see it's uh, very dirty. Come this side of the, the front panel, so you can see the front basically. Um, in the last video, I cut off this bottom part here because it was all broken. I mean, you see here it's it's broken, but it was worse. So basically, the the piece of plastic that uh, I've used to make the uh, slurry came from this. 
So I think I'll bring you in for a closer look of the inside of the the panel. So we're going to have a look and see what damage there is, if there's any. Um, oops. Helps not to have a long tripod. But it's a pain to fold up because it's a very old tripod. So you see here, there's not a great deal of damage really. It's not. I, mean, I thought there's more than this. But in fact, the main part is this here. So I'm wondering if I'm going to get away with the paper clip on this as well. Um, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. So it's not particularly badly damaged. I've cut most of that away. It's just this bit here that's split and it needs to be repaired. Otherwise, uh, if I fix something else to the bottom here, so then fix it onto the chassis, onto the front subframe, I mean, um, then it's going to be, let's move that back a bit. That's it. Then it's going to be a bit weak. So, again, good old paper clips. And then we'll see what we can do with that. We need to en enlarge the, the metal a little bit. So it's more along the, the surface. So like I know what I'm doing. Paper clip is not exactly strong. It's at least I can move it about. So the idea is to probably put it there. Can't really see that because of the shadow, can we? And then the idea then is to put the putty on top. We put some putty on to hold it in place. That will actually work. No, it won't because. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of putty on there, like that. See, it's sticking more to my fingers than it is to the to the bit where I want to put it. I don't think this is going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be, and I'm getting dirt all over it by dropping it on the this ground sheet. So I think I'll, I'll use this metal thing to try to put it on. So at least it's not going to get sticked. Oh, well, it wasn't such a good idea in the, in the end. So I'll use the, use that to, even that's a paint. Use that to spread it out a bit. Where to put my paper clip? Uh, I'll try to push that in. I've got a big doll up here, so I think I might as well use the the whole thing really, because I'm not going to use it for anything else. To reinforce that. Once it's in, I can press it down with my finger and it stays more or less in place. I just remembered that, so I just realised that uh, I'm not actually clean what I'm putting it on. But uh, anyway, look at that flattened down. And then I'm going to find another crack, aren't I? I think that'll, that'll do. I'll just reorientate the the tripod and give you a closer look so you can see I've just worked it in just there like that over the crack and we'll see what it does I'll just sit you well I just realised that I've shortened the legs so I'll just sit you on the top of here there we go on the steps this 1950s tripod is, I love using it because it belonged to my granddad, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to use when you want to move things about quickly and uh, shut the legs down quickly because you have to use two hands to do it. It's impossible to just slide them in. Uh, you've got two little things you have to push in. Yeah, anyway, you're cutting yourself because it was made before health and safety and CE and all those safeguards. So... Yeah, I think we'll leave it there, um, leave it to dry a little bit, and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and see how, how far we got with it, whether it's fallen off or whether it's actually taken. Support. Mega. Red. 
Van Hill. So that's our second day of uh, fog um, here in the Isson and uh, yeah we're going a bit fed up with it now. Yeah um, apart from the fog uh, yesterday there was a, a massive fire at the local rubbish dump so that uh, obviously is not uh, ideal. Uh, it's about seven kilometres away about uh, 5,000 uh, square metres of rubbish was burning and uh, I'm not sure if they may put it out yet. Anyway, we're, we're here to have a look at um, the result of my plastic uh, slurry, whether it's dried or not. Um, we'll have a look. In fact, I looked yesterday and uh, it seemed largely dry. Let's have a look at this. So, rock hard, brilliant. And in fact, yesterday I was pressing in the middle here and it was sort of um, not soft, but you could feel that there was some give and now there isn't. It's completely and utterly, ah, there's a little bit. But anyway, I'm not going to be working on it for a little while, but uh, it seems to, let's look at the other side and just hold that so it focuses a bit. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to have to fill that in with something, I don't know what, but um, it doesn't move anymore. So perhaps we should look at the, the other repair uh, in the van itself. So the problem with my, my van is that uh, it's, it's got a problem with the lock um, on the passenger door, so that means I have to basically uh, unlock it from the inside and for now it will do because uh, otherwise pulling the, the passenger door apart isn't really on the scheme of things at the moment so it's rock hard very good so in fact considering there's a bit of moisture there but i think that's coming from somewhere else there seems to be a leak down here and ends up in a nice big puddle on the floor so i'm not sure where that's coming from it's something else i need to look into i mean i would have thought it was a condensation on the on the windscreen but it's coming from somewhere down there but uh it's something that needs investigating so oddly um going back to the repair if I just put the, the camera in here, you can see there's like a little white thing sticking out of here. And I think it's, um, I th well, I'm not sure, but I think that corresponds with where the repair is in the, uh, in the cabin on the floor. And there's like a rubber type stuff that's sticking out of here. So um, if that's the, the acetone and the plastic that have created like a rubber, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, it's something I need to look at as well. It needs to be repaired eventually from this side. Uh, so I've done the other side, but I think ideally I'd need to repair the plastic from the outside as well. But uh, I need to really discover exactly where the hole is. I think that's it for this video. Um, I'm not going to show you uh, me sanding the uh, repair, because uh, that's something I'll do at a later date. Um, because I actually need to repaint the front panel black but before that I need to actually add some sort of a, a lower panel so it'll actually hold on to the subframe so that's going to be it for now so thank you very much for watching and uh, take care of yourselves I'll see you in another video take care bye Quand je reviens dans mon Essonne En maillot à mon lit Au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne